Everton 4-0 West Ham Captain Wayne Rooney begs fantastic hat trick with strike from his own half as Sam Allardyce watches on from the stands ahead of his unveiling as manager at Goodison Park New Everton manager Sam Allardyce was watching on from the stands at Goodison Park on Wednesday night it was David Unsworth's last game in charge following the sacking of former boss Ronald Koeman in October Everton won a penalty after Dominic Calvert-Lewin appeared to be taken down by goalkeeper Joe Hart Hart saved Wayne Rooney's penalty but he couldn't stop the striker heading past him on the rebound Rooney doubled his tally just 10 minutes later when he slotted past Hart at his far post from inside the box West Ham's Manuel Lanzini saw his penalty saved in the second half as the Hammers chased a comeback Rooney got his third from inside his own half before Ashley Williams scored Everton's fourth goal an easy win how do you impress new manager? Some players would favor hard work. Others, perhaps, might choose a willingness to listen and learn. Then there is the Wayne Rooney way. Only the special ones can delve into the realms of fantasy and raise a stadium to its feet but that is what this gifted individual did. If Sam Allardyce feared he was arriving at Goodison Park to see the dying of Rooney's light, he will be thinking again. Rooney had already scored twice when Joe Hart attempted to clear his lines and fired the ball into Everton's half. Still out of his goal, the home crowd shouted shoot. And that's what he did, drilling the most glorious drive from 70 yards like an arrow into the Gladys Street net. Dot that is as good as I have ever hit a football, he said and for good reason. In real time, you knew it was glorious but with each replay, from every angle, it got better. It was the strike of a genius and ensured David Unsworth, the caretaker manager, could end his reign on a high. Aller dice. When he was England manager, said Rooney could play anywhere and that's what he did. Against West Ham, dropping deep, splitting his two central defenders at times, even running back deeper than the left back Cuco Martina. Most importantly, he played brilliantly. It is a national hobby to pull Rooney to pieces but this was a reminder that he can still make the magic happen. Aller dies, watching in the director's box alongside Farhad Mashri will be relishing the chance to rekindle this relationship. Such was the fragile makeup of both teams. The impression through those sterile and tentative early exchanges was that they would have gladly shaken hands and taken a point apiece if the game could have ended there and then. No confidence, however, is usually a recipe for mistakes and, sure enough, two errors in a flash transformed the contest. The first came from Pedro Obi and whose failed tackle allowed Dominic Calvert Lewin to scurry clear. The second came from Joe Hart, who chopped down the young striker. Hart tried to argue his case, but it was the clearest penalty you could wish to see, and, strictly speaking, the England international should have been sent off, given he was the last man. Only the fact Calvert Lewin was running on an angle, slightly away from goal, saved him. Everton didn't have to be brilliant, but they were organized and committed and wanted it more. Those traits enabled them to get the decisive second in the 29th minute when Tom Davis charged down the right and crossed Rooney, via deflection from Joan Joe Kenny, did the rest. West Ham, belatedly, started to find some rhythm, emerging for the second half with a moise scolding ringing in their ears. We told them we wouldn't accept that, he said, and going out with a whimper at venue with so many memories was not going to be tolerated. So they began to push. Everton nerves starting to take hold, allowed themselves to be forced back and in the 52nd minute, they came within a whisker of being punished when Aaron Cresswell cracked the crossbar with a piercing drive before Marco Arnautovic fluffed a chance. The warning wasn't heeded and just before the hour, they won a penalty, Ashley Williams chopping down substitute Diaphra Sacco. The onus fell on Manuel Lanzini to keep his nerve but he aimed for the same corner as Rooney and suffered the same consequence. Jordan Pickford hurdled to his right to beat the kick away and did so with such ferocity that the ball went out for a throw-in. It was a match-changing save and not long after it was followed by a match-defining goal. Williams provided the footnote with a glancing header but the night was all about one man, and, for all the chatter about Taller Dice, it did not belong to him. After all the negativity and descent, Everton's number 10 cleared the gloom. Sam.